Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another bump date. So today is my 18 week pregnancy update. My last one was a what, 14 weeks. So we are in month five. Okay, getting down and dirty. We are at the halfway point. I'm really at my halfway point because I never make it to 40 weeks. So I'm halfway there, y'all, until I meet my baby girl. Yes, honey, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and start off with. We had our um, official gender scan. If y'all not over there on the blog, uh, family vlog channel, we did have our official gender scan to confirm that it, it is a girl. Baby is definitely a girl. We seen her lady parts, okay, and everything. I can go out and just be crazy and buy all the pink that I want. We are officially having our first little girl so that is so exciting i just been kind of like i don't know having that gender skin is kind of made it more real because with sneak peek i mean i don't know it kind of if i could do it over i probably wouldn't even did the sneak peek test because it really didn't do it did a little bit of something for me like had me excited in the beginning but it just that wavering feeling of like i'm waiting to get confirmation from it kind of didn't let me be fully attached to like baby girl well, I can't. I don't even gotta do this no more to baby girl. But like getting that gender scan is just really what made it real for me and really like put me in like this is my baby girl. Like this is my daughter. So I'm just so happy. I'm so excited over the moon. And yeah, let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it. This so, little girl still mean. Okay, uh, she ain't changed. She ain't changed much. She still kicking my butt i'm still just extremely tired we're gonna go ahead and talk about symptoms real quick um i'm still extremely tired i just like this right here doing something to myself takes a little bit of everything out of me so <laughs> it's just been like majority of my days i'm sitting on my couch knocked out or just like out for the count can't really cook can't really clean can't really do nothing because i am that exhausted the headaches have subsided um i did get my finally get my levels tested for iron and everything my iron was definitely low so they put me on iron pills which i haven't really been taking but i did take them for like a few days i need to get back on it i know but i did take them for a few days and you know my headaches started to subside i really don't have them much anymore i have them from time to time that's really from like looking at um my computer and looking at tv because my body is just real sensitive right now <laughs> i can't look at my computer how i used to so i got me some um i wish i had them with me i got me some headache glasses i'll link them down below because everybody was asking about them over on the blog channel but yes i did give me some headache glasses which really 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 helped because it blocks out the blue light so i'll link those down below in my amazon store go check them out y'all these symptoms now is just like i cannot catch a break so my symptoms now include indigestion which has really been a thing it just hasn't been as bad as it is now but indigestion is like every time i eat something it just eh, like i just it's like the food don't know where to go or something like i have to take tums ginger ale like i barely even want to eat i haven't gained any weight with this pregnancy y'all i'm so sad i'm so sad y'all my weight has been declining i mean it hasn't been going down but i just haven't gained well i feel like it's went down i look like it's went down like can y'all tell like i just look so skinny <laughs> but um i haven't been able to gain weight in this pregnancy because i haven't been eating like I know, I know, I know it's bad. But the good thing about that is that baby is still healthy. Baby is eight ounces, so she is tracking perfectly, you know, where her weight needs to be because she taking everything, so she good. But as far as me, I'm not eating like I'm supposed to eat. Like I'll eat like one time a day and that be it. And part of, the, part of that is because of the indigestion because I'm like, I just don't even want to eat that. Like I just it's like a lot of foods i just don't i try to stay away from because it's definitely gonna just mm, not be good like sauces like lasagna and spaghetti and stuff it's just like that's it really get me bad like it really any like all types of meat right now it's kind of turning me off like steak oh my god i feel like steak will just stay up here like if you've ever had indigestion you just feel like your food never went past like here or something like you could just feel it 
just there and it's like why won't you go down <laughs> so steak is a really bad one like ugh, like just them heavy foods i just cannot get with so i just been really eating light oh this little girl keeps me in the bathroom when i say i mean this has been i forgot to mention this in my earlier bump dates but this has been a thing since the first trimester i am literally on the toilet every freaking five minutes it is ridiculous like my body can just it just can't retain water for some reason like if i drink a bottle of water uh -huh, it's over i'm od on the toilet like it is so so annoying because i can't get no sleep girl and then the thing is here my mouth be so dry so it's like i need water i i have to keep drinking i'll drink one bottle of water my mouth is still dry so i'm just down in water trying to down water but don't even want to down water because i know that i'm about to be in the bathroom every two seconds of my life like that's literally my life i'm in the bathroom all the time i can't even go nowhere i feel like because i'm in the bathroom all the time it's like, why is this water not sticking? It's just going straight through me. It's not even doing nothing for me at this point. It's just going right out, in and out. It's in and out. Those are my annoying symptoms <laughs> with this pregnancy. My annoying continuous symptoms that I've been dealing with. But I'm just glad I feel like I'm through the morning sickness and the headaches because I feel like those were like the worst parts of it. But it's just like, I'm just dealing with this other stuff that's just like oh my god i'm so happy i'm at my halfway point like i just gotta be real honest i gotta be real honest this pregnancy has not been that enjoyable okay and that does not mean i'm not thankful and blessed to be carrying my little girl because i really really am like y'all don't understand my excitement and my thankfulness and just ugh, thank you lord you know but this pregnancy itself has not been enjoyable it just it hasn't i mean the most enjoyable thing is drum roll drum roll baby girl's kicks yes i have started feeling her kicks like it is so crazy i even kind of saw a kick one time like not she ain't at the point where like she you see it moving out the belly but i saw her kick like she was moving a lot one morning and it was kind of like just you know what i'm saying like it was just the best thing ever so it, that's the best feeling in the world that's the reason i really enjoy my pregnancies because you really have a life inside of you and you can feel it and it's just that's the peak that's the peak of pregnancy okay so i have i gotta put that in there this haven't been all bad because i have felt my baby move and that to me is just like the most rewarding thing ever just feeling this little life inside of you move around like it's just it's no way to describe it really so that's been that but other than that girl this little girl got me going through it yeah that's really it for my symptoms i cannot wait to start gaining weight like I don't even know if I'm gonna gain much weight in this pregnancy. Like I said, I'm halfway through this pregnancy and I still have not gained anything. I feel like I'm losing all my weight because I'm not really eating properly because of all the symptoms. So hopefully I can start eating good, like good, good soon and just start packing on some pounds because girl, mama needs a little weight. Like I'm feeling like I'm freezing out here. I'm so little, I'm freezing all the time. <laughs> next i want to go ahead and talk about my cravings so i really haven't girl i be so raggedy with these bump dates i haven't talked about my cravings in any of my bump dates but they've pretty much still been the same like i cannot eat heavy foods like meat still can't eat seafood but i'm really leaning more towards like sweets like i just be snacking i feel like all day so i'm leaning more towards fruits um candy that's been my weakness okay i have to keep my little candy stash donuts cookies that's why i'm not gaining no weight either like normally when you eat a whole bunch of junk food you can gain weight but with me it's like all that junk food replaces like real calories and real like nourishment that it just it don't do nothing for me so <laughs> junk food is just is is my it's bad okay and my cravings have also been like just random like I don't know like oh i was craving this chicken sandwich from freddy's y'all let me put y'all on because everybody is killing themselves over this popeye sandwich i'm not gonna do it i'm just not <laughs> like i don't even have no desire to go wait and get the popeye's chicken sandwich i really don't i don't have the time but freddy's let me tell y'all this is the best chicken sandwich i've ever had go there ask for a spicy chicken sandwich ask them to add 
pickle. I think it already come with pickle, but pickle, cheese, American cheese, mayo, lettuce, and tomato. Girl, bomb. Put a little fry sauce on it, dip it in the fry sauce while you're eating it. So good. I ate that for like three days straight, and that was literally the only thing I ate each day. Like, it was that real. So, sometimes I have like a certain craving for a certain thing. Freddy's chicken sandwich was my thing for three days, but other than that, just sweet stuff. So now that we got all that out the way, let's get into the nitty gritty, the serious stuff, the um, ultrasounds and the how is baby doing and all of that. So I got my ultrasound pictures right here. I'm gonna kind of show y'all up close. My favorite. Look at her little hand, it is so cute. Her little hand. She look like me. <laughs> like her profile don't really look like how my boys looked for some reason. So I feel like she gonna look like me. Cause my boys, I feel like they look like daddy. But I think baby girl is gonna be my twin. And that is where they detected her private parts. It's a girl. Yes, her little feet. So cute, and then she also has a 4D. They do 4D every time I go there, which is a little creepy, but look at her little face. Ah, looking like a little, little something. What you looking like, girl? I don't know what you looking like. You looking a little crazy right there, I ain't gonna lie. That's the ultrasound update, how big she got, and she just move her little hands and stuff. She's just so cute. It's just a joy to see her. I'm glad I'm going to this harvest specialist because I get to see her so often, and they get to, you know what I'm saying? They, it's real in depth. The ultrasounds last like a pretty good amount of time, so I just love going to see her, and I'll be seeing her again in another four weeks. I'm gonna tell y'all why. I don't really know if I'm supposed to be like freaking out. I'm kind of not freaking out because I think everything is gonna be everything just like everything has been everything with this pregnancy and I've been freaking out this whole pregnancy for no reason so I'm not gonna even let myself do it but um at the 14 week ultrasound they wanted to see her again because they saw kidney or urine backed up in her kidneys and it's supposed to be at that point like functioning it's supposed to be you know what I'm saying the bladder is supposed to be going down to the bladder and releasing not supposed to have dilation in the kidneys so they want to see her back same thing still you know dilation in the kidneys um and basically what that means is if it continues if like if the kidneys just don't begin to work properly they'll have to do surgery but the thing is they're gonna monitor me um every four weeks so in another four weeks we're gonna see where these kidneys is at um, I feel like it's going to start functioning at some point on its own because, you know, the baby is in utero. It's still, she's still growing and everything is still beginning to function. So I think it's going to happen. I just think they real like keep coming back for the check. That's just what I think. <laughs> um, but I think it's going to, you know, start functioning on its own. Give it a little time, whatever, whatever. I don't think it's going to get to the point of surgery. But they did want to prepare us that if the, you know, urine is still there throughout the whole pregnancy, they are going to have to give her an ultrasound as a newborn. And if the, you know, her kidneys is still, urine is still backed up in her kidneys, they will have to perform surgery to get her kidneys to start working properly. So, yeah, basically it's not like a invasive well i don't even want to say that because they didn't really explain much about the surgery because we're not at that point yet but it's not like a surgery that will affect her long term or anything it's like once they get it and got it she good so i'm glad about that um they basically have to like fix the tube or a tube that's in there it's like a tube that's maybe too narrow or they have to cut it and reattach it to some we ain't at that point yet, so I'm not going to even let myself think about it. I'm not going to let myself go there. We're just going to keep going to the ultrasounds and see if baby girl kidney start functioning like they're supposed to. Y'all, pray for baby girl. I think everything is going to be okay, though. I'm not tripping. I have complete faith that, you know, everything is going to be functioning like it should, and we're not going to even get to the point of surgery. But just, you know, keep on them positive thoughts, positive prayers. All right, and now the big question everybody has baby shower baby shower baby shower we'll be having a baby shower with baby girl so the answer is yes y'all all invited what's up <laughs> 
so we are doing a virtual baby shower the registry will be open soon so if you over there on the vlog channel that's how you can really you know keep updated with that because i'm in the process of like creating her registry and especially i wanted to wait until we confirmed it was a girl before i went you know creating this whole registry with like baby girl stuff or whatever so um her registry registry will be available soon i will keep y'all updated on that probably in the next bump day it'll probably be up by then but you know if y'all keep updated on tt3 tv y'all can see more in depth about the, that whole baby registry thing even though we kind of taking a hiatus from vlogging um we will definitely keep y'all updated on the baby registry because we definitely will be doing a virtual baby shower that way because we don't live near family and friends and we're not gonna be living near family and friends even you know once we move from here and we move in like what two three months we are moving in less than three months like two and a half months around that time frame so the countdown is very real we got a lot going on and a virtual baby shower is just really the best way to go i'm not gonna have time to do a real baby shower like an actual baby shower i really it just no point in doing an actual baby shower because all of our family is up in michigan i'm not going up there to do a baby shower we just it's just too much you know what i'm saying and then i can't imagine having a whole bunch of people fly down just to come to a baby shower it's like girl it's all right y'all can stay home <laughs> y'all can stay home and eat y'all snacks okay and we can just have our baby shower via camera okay so all our family all our friends all our subscribers everybody y'all out there everybody can come to the baby shower i thought that would just be really dope i don't see virtual baby showers here and there so i'm like that is a good idea for us because especially because we don't live by family and that just it'll just work out so yeah that's the update on the baby shower virtual baby shower coming soon just stay tuned okay so yeah that is it for my 18 week bump day 18 weeks and four days to be exact thank y'all so much for watching make sure to stay tuned for future bump dates registry all that good stuff and i know y'all want to see this baby bump like i said i really haven't been gaining weight so i feel like to me i feel like it looks the same i mean i don't know my husband be telling me i look bigger but i just feel like i look the complete same like <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the bump day and yeah thanks for watching i'll see y'all in the next video